Hey guys, this is going to be my last and final video for the night. I have to try and make it quick because my camera has less than 15% battery and by now because I just tried filming it again, um, it probably has less. So this is the giveaway video. This is going to be the Build Your Makeup collection from the Dollar Tree. So basically everything that I show you is going to be in this little giveaway and it's going to be one if you're a beginner with makeup or two um, if you're on a budget and you can't afford to shop anywhere expensive what I think the basics for building your makeup collection from the Dollar Tree would be and what I would choose to get so the first thing that I would pick up if it were me would be this it's in the sassy and chic brand and it's the BB beauty cream it's the multi-action skincare makeup it's 1.0 fluid ounces so this will be included. Um, I think this is basically like killing two birds with one stone because you're getting a moisturizer before your foundation, which is important. And then you're also getting your SPF protection, which is also very important. So this would be the first thing that I would apply and I'm going to include in the giveaway. The second thing would be obviously your foundation. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Beauty Benefits Ultimate Cover Foundation, which is 1.0 fluid ounces. It's obviously a very light co um, color. It doesn't have a name on it, and it's a very, very light coverage. It's very sheer and very light. You almost get, I don't want to say no coverage, but it's just very minimal. This is very thin foundation, so... It didn't stop filming, it's just saying I have less than 10%. It's popping up, so let me get that off the screen. So because of that, I decided to include, because I don't want to give you like a sucky coverage with barely any. Um, I picked this up for myself, but I'll just go ahead and pick up another one. I wanted to try this. This seems like just looking at it, that it would be a good coverage. I'm going to include this Color Mates um, Compact Makeup, and it's in the light. It's paraben free. It says it's rich, smooth natural looking long wearing and blends easily it comes with its own little um, makeup wedge to apply it and this is basically like a cream foundation which is basically a liquid and a powder mixed so and I think those are um, pretty good so if you apply the BB cream then this and then this I think you're gonna get a pretty good coverage for a dollar each so those will all be included I also included to apply these um, a pack of the sassy and chic um, cosmetic wedges so you get 28 of these to apply um, the liquid foundation um, when I do BB creams I usually just use my hands um, I know they say that's not good but if you do use your hands just make sure that you wash your hands and maybe use a sanitizer you want to make sure that your hands are super clean if you're going to be touching your face because it causes uh, breakouts really easily your hands are the most oily part of your body so and they have the most bacteria so you want to make sure that you wash and you you can use one of these wedges as well to apply the BB cream if that's what you desire to do um, I'm also going to include one of these knockoff dupe sassy and chic beauty blenders um, and if you use these just know that you have to get these wet first you don't have to but that's the directions and if you don't it's not gonna work it's gonna be like very just like mm, mm, mm. you have to get it wet just put it under the water squeeze it while the water's running wring the water out and then use it the reason for that being is that if you don't get it wet it's just going to absorb all your liquid foundation if you get it wet it's it's not going to absorb it all and it's going to be a lot easier to blend so i'm going to include this along with the wedges then it's important to have a concealer to conceal under under your eyes any bags any blemishes and then also to brighten up under your eyes so I chose the LA Colors Concealer. This was the only concealer they had there. Um, it's in the nude and it looks like this. So I will include that. This is 0.21 ounces. Um, I have a blush, but I don't have time to like dig it out because I don't, there's all this stuff that I just hauled. Um, I wasn't going to include it, but I decided I wanted to. It's the little, if you watch my last couple hauls, either part two, three, or four, I showed you guys a little wet and wild mauve colored blush, and it's called Cheeky Something. I'm going to include that for basically the apples of your cheeks. And then for contouring and bronzing, I picked up this LA Colors in the bronze 
I'm not going to read all the letters and numbers. It's basically this little LA Colors bronzer. I actually have used these before. I really like this bronzer. Um, it's got a nice glow to it, so you can contour your cheeks, your nose, um, your temples down here, whatever you wish to do. Um, you can also use this as a blush. If you don't want to wear the mauve color, you can just use this color. So I'm going to include that. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I will include a... I don't want to get up in front of you guys. Um, I will also include a... I'm not sure what color. I'm thinking it's going to be some... I don't want to do like any purples. I'll have to look through my palettes, my Profusion palettes and my LA Color palettes. But just for an example, um, I'm going to do some nude colors and some brown, some more light colors for you because it's a beginner. Um, it's not going to be this smoky palette because that's got some dark colors in it. But I'll have to go through my LA Color palettes and my Profusion because I want to make sure this is all Dollar Tree. So other people, if they want to get ideas or build their makeup off the Dollar Tree, they can do that as well. So I will go through and I will include one of the um, eyeshadow palettes for you as well. So you'll have an eyeshadow base and then you'll have one to either do in the, the crease like me or you can do the outer V, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm also going to include, I want before this video ends, I'm going to include a foundation elf brush. I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. So you have um, three different options. You can use your Beauty Blender, um, Knock Off Beauty Blender, your wedges, your foundation brush, um, or you can use them all, whatever you want to do, because they all give different... Well, the wedges and the Beauty Blender are going to kind of give the same coverage, but the brush and the Beauty Blender give different, um, kind of different coverages. So I will include this as well. Um, I think it's important to have an eyeliner and a mascara. Oh, I forgot. Before I tell you about the eyeliner and the mascara, um, it is important to have like a setting powder. So I picked up in the LA Colors Pre... Please let me be able to finish this. The LA Colors Pressed Powder, and it's in the beige. It is... And this is a... It's like a medium color. They didn't have any lighter ones in this. They were pretty dark. So um, whoever the winner is, if this is too dark for you, I can try to look around for... At different Dollar Trees for a lighter LA Colors. I may even have one in the drawer. Um, so I'm going to include this LA Colors pressed powder to set your foundation, your concealer, all that. Um, then, and this comes with like a little cheapy, really thin um, thing to put it on with. It sucks. I would use one of the wedges to put that on, or if it were me, um, I would use the Beauty Blender and the sponges to put the foundation on and then I would use this for the powder. I know it's a foundation brush. Um, I can look at the Dollar Tree and see if there's any, um, oh, you know what? They have the, I might have the Kabuki powder brushes. So I think I'm gonna include one of those Kabuki brushes for the powder because that's way easier to put it on with the Kabuki brush. I can tell it's getting ready to die. I need to speed this up. So um, I think the last things in here, if I find anything extra to add to this giveaway, I will, but these are the basics. Um, for lips, whoops, I'm going to include a Milani either lipstick, lip gloss. I'm gonna include a lipstick or a lip gloss. And I don't have time to get that out right now and I haven't decided which one, but it will be one that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to include this Carmax um, just a lip balm. I think this is important because it gives your lips moisture. And then what I do is I put some of the Carmex or chapstick on baby lips or whatever on my lips, a very thin layer before I put my foundation on because it kind of stops the foundation from really staining your lips white and it helps to kind of keep it off. So you can also put this on before lipstick or with the lip gloss, whatever you want to do. That's why I thought it was important to include a moisturizing lip balm. I picked out the LA Colors, just the black eyeliners, and it comes with a sharpener, so you won't have a problem sharpening it. Um, if you need to, if it goes on really um, hard, you can take a lighter to it just for a second, swipe it over, and it will be creamier for you. I've used super cheap black eyeliners that sucked and as long as you have a lighter they'll work fantastically 
So they had liquid eyeliner in the Color Mates and the e.l.f., but I thought for a beginner, um, the pencil would be a lot easier to work with. So just keep the lighter tip in mind when you're using this if you want a more dramatic eyeliner. And then for the mascara, I have another LA Colors kind in there, and I only found it like once or twice, but this was the one that I found yesterday. Um, they have the regular LA Color ones. This one seemed a little bit nicer to me. This is the um, LA Colors Very Black Bold Plump Slashes. It says it's new. So this, I think, is a little bit better than the standard LA Colors um, mascara. So I will include this. So I did your foundation, um, a cream foundation, and a liquid foundation, a concealer, a BB cream, a powder, a blush, a bronzer, um, a foundation brush, wedges, beauty blender, I don't know if I said eyeliner, mascara, um, I'll do an eyeshadow palette, and then a lipstick or a lip gloss. That is what will be included in the giveaway for Build Your Makeup Collection at the Dollar Tree. Um, that's just the kind of standard things that I would pick out um, had I been shopping for all my makeup at the Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, subscribe. Um, you have to be subscribed to me. Like this video, you have to comment and tell me why you would want to win this giveaway or if like, you know, if you're starting your makeup collection, just something in the comments to me. Um, and yeah, so it's super late. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff that I showed in this giveaway and I hope you guys enjoyed all the hauls that I did tonight. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm super tired. I have work tomorrow. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And I know this isn't like a super lot because there's people that have so many subscribers, but I'm like two or three away from 2,000 subscribers. And that's like a landmark for me because when I started this channel, I didn't even think I would get 20 subscribers. So 2,000 people following me definitely to me is a lot. I know compared to other people, that's nothing. But for me, that's like a lot for me. And I'm so appreciative of all of you guys that are faithful to me and you guys follow me. And I'm like seriously getting teary-eyed right now. I'm not kidding you. I'm not faking it and I'm not being phony. I really am getting teary-eyed because you guys don't know how much you guys brighten my day. Like when I'm depressed or when I'm just not having a good time. So many of you guys have been there for me and I'm so appreciative of the people that I've met on YouTube, the Dollar Tree community, and I have to go because I'm tired and I'm getting emotional. So bye guys. I'll see you in my next video.